what's up everybody welcome back to my channel so today we are planting some seeds we are planting some herbs so come along with me as i plant some herbs and look at how pretty everything is in front of me i made this <laughs> i didn't make the candle well the mel beauty is doing candles very very soon please be patient this is like from the dollar store would you believe that would you believe that that's crazy it really is it doesn't look like it huh got it at the dollar store dollar tree or one of those um, got some potions here that I made, looking really pretty, looking good. I won't tell you anything I put in them, because it's a secret. <laughs> Just because y'all, I know, y'all gonna try and steal my shit, but you could try, honey. But this video is, is, is date stamped or whatever the cool kids call it. So, um, what's up? This is me, and I make these, and uh, there's a date to everything. What's up? Um... Uh, but yeah, isn't it so pretty? Oh my gosh. It's so heavy too. If you guys wouldn't believe how heavy it is. So yeah, I need to glue these because these aren't glued down at all yet. Um, so I need to be careful with that. I'm drinking my Red Bull. Got my Red Bull going. I was taking some dabs. Got to clean the sink. Um, I just got this. Um, the concealer. I love the Milani concealer so much. So let's get to it, man. So stay there. Hi babies, how are we? How are we doing? We doing good? Okay, so these have been germinating and they've been germinating for a while. A few days, almost four or five days now. So, and I know exactly what they are. I'm gonna keep that part straight. We have in front of us, we have seeds that are gonna be germinated. We'll show you guys up close in a second. They're very delicate. If you don't know, now you know. We have our beautiful basil coming in hot. She brings the Italian vibe. She's going to be amazing on our pastas. Oh, I'm so excited. Then we have our cilantro. It's going to be amazing for pico de gallo. When I have the vegan viola cheddar quesadillas to put the cilantro on the pico de gallo. Or for that, just for that. You know what I mean? Why not? And whatever else we want to use. It's really good in soups as well. Um, okay, and then we have thyme right here. The little baby thyme seeds. They're so tiny little thyme seeds. That is gonna be good on some fish, probably on some potatoes, um, kind of everything. You can throw time in a lot of stuff, so I'm excited for that. Um, and then we have, oh, we have some mold growing on these, actually. There's some blue mold. Wow, okay, so yeah, today is definitely the day because our thyme seeds are growing mold. So, okay, number one rule of germination. I'm new here too, to all this. This is literally, we're playing with seeds, guys. It's crazy, this is weird. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys, like, the ins and outs of everything. Um, I'm going to try to get a better angle for you guys because this is frustrating me as well. I'm going to put you guys... Right there. Fuck it. Ah, oh, shit. You're balancing on the potion. That's funny. A glass potion. Balance! Woo! Shit, that scared me. Okay, I'm moving so fast. You saw that? It's in my reflexes. Yeah, I've been through some shit. They're fast. Um, okay, stay. Okay, I just need to. I have a tripod. It's over here. But that's like so much fun. released shortly after to a huge success and was sounding more than a little similar to if we. While Jalen talked to Charlie Brian, we Okay. Now How the fuck are we gonna do this? Y'all, I'm so new to this shit. I'm like, sorry guys, I should have done this before. I'm sorry. It's ASMR. Don't you, don't you like my ASMR? Okay, stay right there. Stay. Arrêtez. Restez là. Okay. So. Okay, I hope you guys are doing good. Okay. Um. So yeah, now you guys can run into the bathroom. Okay, cool. Sweet. Okay, cool. So. Got my Red Bull. Not perfect. Okay. Um, we have some blue mold growing in this one. So, I need to fix that. Um, there's so much shit. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Okay. I'm going to use this because it's here. We use tools. We believe in tools. Okay. I'm not about to change a camera angle. Okay, there's seeds and cups of water, okay? It's not very fucking hard here, yo. Shit. 
Y'all fucking lazy. I'm just a mad man. It's fucking trash on the earth instead of plants. Okay, let's change that. So, basil, I do see a little, little growth, little growth, little growth. Okay, but there's only blue mold in this one. Blue mold, green mold, whatever is mold, I can tell. So, we're gonna go in. We're gonna be a scientist. You're gonna watch me be the scientist now, okay? Breath work. Breath work is everything here. It's like sewing. It's like, uh, so the attention to detail is insane. If you guys saw the flowers from earlier, it's such a detail that we do. So, what's up, baby? Who are we working with? This is Parsley. Ooh, we love Parsley. We don't want to take care of her. Okay. Basil, so long intro time. Parsley, what's up, Parsley, baby? How are you? Doing good? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna remove these for you. Get those out of your way. There you go. It's okay. So, these are just aborted seeds. So, if you want to get, like, creepy with it, these are, like, aborted seeds, okay? But they're, they're plant seeds. This is, these are aborted parsley seeds. Isn't that crazy? We're getting all scientific and shit. So there's a little bit of blue mold on these. They're very, very tiny. You almost couldn't tell, you know what I mean, from the naked eye, but I could tell there's some blue mold growth on that. So those seeds are duds. So whenever you're germinating plants, basically the seeds that float to the, the seeds that float to the bottom, are gonna be your good seeds. And I need to fact check this again, but this is all like, I pull the shit, I pull the knowledge. Like, I feel like I read this somewhere, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm literally not even 100% sure about that. <laughs> but like, I feel it within me, so we're gonna do it. Okay. So yeah, the seeds that are basically on, you put the seeds in the cup with like lukewarm room temp water. Okay, you wanna germinate them for a few days. You kinda wanna keep your eye on them, and I just watch them. I just watch them, that's all I do. You know what I mean? Like, cause it could be, a day, two days, three days, every seed's different depending on how many seeds, depending on the type of water you're even using, like, this is just tap water from the sink, this wasn't even, like, alkaline, pH balance, like, nothing crazy, like, you could get real fancy with it, you know what I mean, hydroponics, talking hydroponics and everything, this is low level, this is the beginning of hydroponics, basically, so if I wanted to grow these plants in the cups with the water, instead of putting them in the soil, like we are about to, then I would basically be doing hydroponics, but we are not going to be doing hydroponics. We're going to be doing the soil method. So I'm excited for that. So we're going to get our dirts, our dirts ready. And yeah, so basically the, when you're germinating seeds, the, um, the seeds that float to the bottom are going to be the ones that are ready for soil because I believe that the, when you put a seed, it's like, it's like, think of it like an egg almost, right? <laughs> right? So it's like this ball that has hollow. So it's like when you put it in the water, it's like, okay, if the water gets into the seed, that means it's going to go to the bottom of the jar, you know? And then if the, if the seed is still floating on the top, like we have here, there's only one remaining floating seed here out of, hi basil, how are we? So there's only, this is creepy to think about, this is a boarded basil cell, like, that's crazy. What's up science? I feel chemistry, yo. I was like an intern for my chemistry teacher and she always talked shit about me. What's up? How we doing, Becky? Um, this looks really cool. Um, you could probably eat it, it wouldn't kill you, but I wouldn't recommend it, because one, not much, I mean, there is nutrient content in it, but it's like, it's not gonna do with anything. I'm just telling you like where it's at, it probably, I mean, I'm like not a scientist here, but it probably is still edible, even though this is the one aborted uh, basil seed that didn't grow, it didn't take. So it remained floating on the top of it. So we just took it out because we want to get to the rest of the seeds that did take. Um, so yeah, this is the one that was floating on the top of the surface. So rest in peace, thank you. Appreciate it. That one just didn't take, it just didn't take. That's all. So we have here our basil water with our um, basil cells, seeds, say it's all the same shit. Um, I'm breaking my back here, yo. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so we did that one. So now with our part, or no, our cilantro. Hi, cilantro. Hi, Pico de Mayo. <sighs> what an angle. Okay. So with that. <laughs> How are we doing? Okay, so now we're going to go into our cilantro cup and we are going to take out the cilantro seeds that did not take. Thank you, cilantro. Hi, cilantro. How are you? How you doing? You didn't take calm. These ones didn't want to take, did they? It's okay. Okay, now we're going to relate them. 
We're gonna put them down there. Thank you. Thank you for trying. Thank you. Oh, whoa, one floated to the bottom. Interesting. Sometimes they do need a little movement. So like, okay, so when you put the seeds in, uh, like half of them will take and half of them won't. So like, meaning when I say take, like it means the seed. Oh, wow, those all three went to the bottom just now. This is real science, man. Okay, so I was about to take those seeds out of this one because I thought they were done because they were floating on the top surface, but I just like put them back in there and they floated all the way to the bottom with their counterparts. So when the seed sinks to the bottom, that means it is able to take because the water content has gotten inside of the seed. So those are ready for planting. Amazing. Okay, so that means we have more cilantro and more cilantro seeds. I thought they were aborted. I thought I had to get rid of them. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of do the same method, but instead of what I learned from this lesson right here, I'm gonna apply right here. So what I should have done, we're gonna even clean our little wand right here. What I should have done is I should tap the first seeds that are still floating on the top. So there's still seeds floating at the top. I'm gonna tap on them and see if they're gonna go to the bottom and join the rest that already be planted. Are you ready? Oh, we have two sinking down, two said yes. I love it, this is so crazy. Magic, man. It's magic. <laughs> okay, so there's two more seeds that are floating on the top. I'm going to tap them, see if they want to join our garden. <laughs> our garden cult. Oh, okay, one sunk down. Okay, cool. So that means the water is getting inside the seed and it is ready for planting. Are you going to join? Are you going to join? <gasps> and this last one, this last time seed, high time. This last time seed just floated to the bottom, so that is all ready for planting as well. Amazing. Okay, and then we have our parsley seeds right here, and I just took out the blue black mold or whatever that was in there. So now all these jars are ready for germination, and we are going to plant them in our pots accordingly. So first we are going to start with our basil, and basil is good for fortune, protection, money, manifestation. Basil was kind of used like bay leaves, and you could take the leaf and you could write on it. Bay leaves, I don't know, I'm sorry I switched to bay, but it's a similar cousin. They use it great in soup. I always throw it in my veggie soup. You always want to throw at least one bay leaf or two bay leaves in your soup. Um, and then it's like whoever gets the bay leaf, when you're scooping out your soup, whoever gets the bay leaf is like a lucky thing. That's a witchy thing. That's a little custom we have. And then um, also on the bay leaves, they were used as money, originally the first money. Basil is similarly used um, in abundance and protection and money spells. Um, Amazing money herb overall. Um, and frick, we haven't got to talk about the culinary. Mi italiana, the pasta. Oh, let's not even start. <laughs> Basil. Yes, it is a city in Switzerland, but it's a delicious herb, okay? So, we are going to get our soil already. And I'm new here too, okay? So, I actually have a book. Um, <laughs> I have three of them on Amazon, but that's not the, those aren't the ones I'm talking about. I'm gonna go grab my little herb book on this real quick because I want to see how far apart I can put the seeds and how deep I put them under. Okay, so here's my little book. They have it in every. Oh, I should practice my French. Okay. Neuf herbes à faire pousser à sa fenêtre. Plongé dans le monde parfumé des herbes, les herbes sont utilisées depuis l'antiquité qui se sont en cuisine, en médecine et également pour le parfum. Herbes have been used like antiquely in cuisine, medicine, and also for their scent. Les papyrus d'Égypte, the papyrus in Egypt, antique détaillement l'utilisation des herbes pour le traitement de diverses maladies. So they're using the herbs for many different types of sicknesses. Telles que les éruptions cutanées et les douleurs de, de tzomac, les Romains et les Grecs utilisant l'anis et le laurier pour couronner leur dirigeant. Those are some big words. They're saying the Greeks, les, les Romains et les Grecs utilisaient l'anis, which has to be an herb, and laurier for, for something, something. Okay, so that was helpful. Okay. Drainage de terreur. Mise en place, celui des grands. Prendre soin de vos plantes. En place de vous. 
Gardez votre pote dans, dans, dans votre bien ventilé avant de prendre un les madalises causées par les champignons, les bactéries et les virus. Bactéries et virus. Les bactéries et les virus. Ok. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Ok, we're going to go to the English part. My multilingual brain can't handle right now. Ok, that's German. Yo, there's supposed to be English in here? Oh, you know what? It's the other book. Shit. <laughs> These are the, this is the translation book. Okay. Oh, great. Great start. Okay, cool. Ready? Go for it. Okay. Well, okay. So I'm just going to use my knowledge. Okay. That I have in my brain. Okay. Fuck it. Okay. So, back in the old days, when we would need to plant shit, you take the seeds and you stick it in the fucking ground. Okay? So we're going to do that. Knowledge. <laughs> it's power, man. It's <laughs> very Celtic knowledge, yo. The jewelry I have hanging behind me has like hundreds and thousands of knots in it. And if you know anything about knot magic, <laughs> I want to make a funny joke, but it's not magic at all. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to make magical jokes. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to put the basil in the fucking dirt. Okay, cool. So we're going to take our soil. And we are going to want to dampen it, just slightly, ever so slightly dampen the soil. We're going to use lukewarm medium water. We're going to dabble it on to the soil, onto your, onto your soil plant. You're going to take your lukewarm sink water, you're going to dabble it on, okay? And you're going to make sure that these babies get nice and sunlight. You don't want them to have too direct sunlight. You never really want, especially in hot California sun, you never really want a plant to have like direct, direct sunlight. Um, it really depends on the plant, if it's more of a desert plant or not. Like succulents, they use aloe, it can handle that sun, you know what I mean? But like little herbs, like sage and stuff, it can't handle that direct sunlight. Like cilantro, like it can't handle direct sunlight. We want just like, um, kind of like this lighting, just a soft lighting. Okay, so we're going to put our basil in the ground. So I'm going to start by pouring out half of the cup. Hi, babies. You okay? You ready to get planted, loves? Are you ready? And I'm going to keep a pinch of the water that they've been simmering in because it, it has a lot of the nutrients that they've been growing in. So this water is good. So I'm going to actually pour it onto the dirt when we pour it in our pot. So we're going to take our pot and we are going to pour it. Should I fix my angle? Oh, oh there's a little bit of sun. Sorry about that. Oh shit, it's like that ride at Disney World. <laughs> okay, you guys gonna stay? Be good? Enjoy the party? Okay. Sit, stay. Okay. So we got the sunlight, we got our dirt, and we got our freaking seeds. It's not really good for it. So, we're gonna take the beautiful water. Hi babies, how are we doing? Feeling good? Feeling great? I see an angel number below you already. Look at that. Love that. Amazing. You guys are doing good? Are you happy? Are you ready to be on some yummy pasta? Are you ready to be in like beautiful? Are you ready to be appreciated and worshipped? Okay, cool. I talked to my plants. Yes, what are you doing? Okay. Um. May you be blessed. Okay. May you be blessed. Thank you, Earth. Thank you, Mother Gaia. Thank you. Okay. Uh, was that a good idea? I don't know. Okay, so I just poured some of the meringue water, but now this is like really wet ass soil. So. <laughs> Kind of a problem because you don't want your shit to be too crazy. Okay, so okay, <laughs> I'm learning, guys. I'm just playing around. So the soil's really wet now. Um, it's, see it's seeping down. So now we're gonna take the rest of the seeds. Hi, babies. You ready? Are you ready? I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. Okay, so look at this. Doesn't it look like? I'll show you really, really briefly. Whoa. You guys need to come in the sun. Oh my god. 